Hey everybody, welcome back to Game Chronicles. We are here with a new release, Centipede Recharge. This is out for the PlayStation 4, and we're playing it on PlayStation 5 through backwards compatibility. Let's see what they've done to one of my all-time favorite arcade games from the 80s. So they've got a long laundry list of achievements. I've got several of these knocked out already. I've been playing this for a couple of days now. Most of these are uh, accumulative milestones. So a couple of these, like the Harvester of Eyes, like 800 Spiders. I'm whoa! I've almost got that one. I'm very close to pulling that one up. Might do that in this video. And then 400 Scorpions, please. You'll see all those here coming up. So. One of the cooler elements of this game is, in addition to just the base arcade, which you can play single player or co-op, you have challenge mode. And I'll just jump into here, into challenges. And here are all the challenges, and I have done all of them already. But it's basically just certain scenarios where destroy 45 mushrooms, which is harder than you think, because each one of those has to be shot like five times, I think. So 40 enemies of bombs, so 20 scorpions, so just certain very specific achievements. There's one where you have to get 3,500 points, but you can't kill any of the poisonous mushrooms. So a lot of really fun objectives. I think it took me probably about an hour to do all these. Uh, so it's a nice little, and then you also get scores and stuff for the uh, ranking on the leaderboard. So there is some incentive to go back and replay it. But just to give you a taste of the gameplay, we're going to jump into the arcade mode, single player, and here we go. So we are horizontal rather than vertical like the original coin game. There's those mushrooms you have to shoot several times before they vanish. So you can't go above the purple line, but they're going to be able to come down below the purple line. And again, if you hit them in the middle of their body, they break up into multiple centipedes, just like the original. So you kill the spiders and you get power-ups. So now we've got the uh, spread weapon. And it is one life, one death. So a little bit brutal in that way. You do have global leaderboards. Somehow I managed to be uh, 24th in the uh, world right now. So I'll, I'll do more playing than talking from here on out. So. This is purely about the high score, so it's just a matter of what tactics you take to get to it. And you can kill the spider whenever you're ready and get the power up. That's double fire. And that purple meter around the border of the screen that's slowly shrinking, that's the duration of your power-up. And there's our next one. The little fleas that are dropping down vertically, they will leave mushrooms down below the purple line, which is super annoying. As you'll see here shortly. So once the centipedes hit the bottom, they'll start to go back up, but they only go back up as far as the purple line, and then they're going to come back down at you. I always try to keep the mushrooms cleared in the purple area below the line. The power-ups do not stay on the screen forever, so you kind of have to watch them. They'll start to fizzle when they're about ready to disappear. That's my favorite one there with the orbital. Yeah. Gotta be a little careful now, it's getting busy down here. Get a power up here. Bomb, there we go. Yeah, if you kill the head, it kills the whole scorpion, so that's a nice little...
Corey Dyson is Scorpion and it's Centipede. Alright, there we go. Alright. There are Scorpions in this game. They are the ones that are going horizontally across the screen. They're, they're going right there. There were some good bonus points if you can kill them. This is a fun one. You're going to have a... Uh... Ah, I can't get to it here. Oh! That's the hard thing. You, it's hard to tell when the uh, centipedes are going up or down. Get caught in the wrong one, they're gonna kill you. Some good electronic music going on in the background there. Little Tron vibe. Oh! And that's the other annoying thing, is if you get too close to the edge, the spiders always come in from the left and right edges. So you really can't hang out there, or they'll just kamikaze you. See that other power up starting to fizzle a little bit, so it's going to disappear here in a minute. There it goes. We're going to grab it. There we go. The controls are pretty good. It's really hard to get spot on on some of these, so especially when you're trying to get this vertical drop thing, please. I do like the fact that they have a grid background to help you line up your shots a little bit. Oh, I walked right into that one. So, yeah, in my personal game, I have to have at least 17.6 to even get on my top five, and then anything above 25.3 will start ranking me up the uh, global leaderboard. We'll keep going a couple more here. You should get a top five score, maybe one out of every three attempts. A lot of it depends on just the luck of the uh, uh, power ups. You get good power ups, it's pretty easy to do good. I got the bomb, so. Again, the biggest thing is to keep the mushrooms out of the lower area because that's the only place you can move and it's way too easy to get hung up on. There we are, we got the bomb. Yeah, periodically they're going to rain down those fleas, just to like, make your life hell. <laughs> oh! Alright, a couple more times and you'll have seen just about everything there is to see.
you can switch power ups before the other one's exhausted, so there's no penalty for that other than you'll lose whatever remaining part you had of the previous one. There we go. Oh! All right, so that's pretty much the arcade mode. We'll go ahead and bounce into a uh, challenge real quick. Just uh, find a good one here. Kill 60 centipedes, that's pretty basic. Let's see what else we got here. 80 centipedes, 8600. That's a pretty good one there. You have to destroy 50 poison mushrooms, but you can't kill a scorpion. So that's holiday. That, I think that's the final one in the... Yeah, basically you just have to get 10,000 points. And then your mushrooms are shaped like a Christmas tree. Here we go. We'll do this one here. Destroy 45 mushrooms. They were kind of screwed down. There we go. Uh, just gonna get out of here. I think that's the slow motion. There we go. And challenge complete, so... And I did that in 49 seconds, the last time I did it, it took me a minute too, so... And then they have uh, world leaderboards for that as well. So I'm 46 in the world for that particular mission. So we'll do, we'll do one more here. Uh, see what's another good one. Bomberman... Kill 40 enemies with bombs. This is one I remember being particularly challenging, because the bombs... Are those guys right there? We'll get them all populated. And then you have to shoot them to trigger them. So we only, only kills with the bombs count though, towards your kill count, which is... All right, here we go. As soon as they get close. Ah! Try it again. So populate the bombs. And there's some good placement. You gotta be careful, those spiders, they like to double back on you. There we go, we got 18 out of 40. I'm not liking this. All right, go here. Go here. I need. I need. Here we go. Oh man! Yeah, as you can see, uh, some of these are kind of tough. I 
again, the best policy is uh, always keep this bottom area clear as possible. We're gonna do it. I'm not gonna quit until we do. Get some pretty good chain reactions going on. There we go, challenge complete. Just a matter of staying alive long enough. And I got 14th in the world on that one, so. Did I beat my personal? No, my best is 42, so. No, we're not doing it again. Ah, uh, no, 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 we're not doing this again. <laughs> Once was enough. All right. Oddly enough, you cannot use the D-pad through the menu systems here. That kind of threw me a little bit, but uh. That is Centipede Recharged, currently available on the PlayStation Store for PS4 and PS5 through Bat Compat. So, a lot of fun, uh, some good old school arcade action, and it does have co-op, so bring a friend. That's it for now, thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.